Fair for your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudden race, aboon them all you tak your place, pange tribe or therum, weel are you worthy o' a grace, as lang's my erum. The groaning trencher there you fill, your hurdies like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend a mill in time o' need, while through your pores the dews distill, like amber bead. His knife, see rustic labour dicht, and cut you up with ready slicht, trenching your gushing entrails bricht like ony ditch, and then, oh, what a glorious sicht, warm reeking, rich. Then horn for horn they stretch and strive, deal tuck the hindmost on they drive, till all their wheel swelled kites belive are bent like drums. Then old good man, mist like to rive, <laughs> bethink it hums. Is there that our is French ragout, or oleo that would stow a sow, or fricassee with marker spew a perfect scunner? Looks dun, oh, no, merci, we sneerin', scorn for you, on sick of dinner, heh, <laughs> per devil, see him ower his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank, a good whip lash, his neave a knit, through bloody flood or field to dash, oh, how unfoot, but mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, clap in his wally neave a blade he'll mack it whistle, and legs and arms and heads will sned, like taps of thristle. Ye powers, wha mak mankind your care, and dish them out their billow fair, old Scotland wants nae skink and wear that jobs in luggies, but if ye wish her grateful prayer, gie her a haggis.